right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22, we got updates, updates, updates galore, man. Um, you know, it's one of those things where you know, you know how 2K do, man. They they drop the updates. They don't tell us anything. It's up to us to go on an Easter egg hunt to find out what everything is. But we got a little bit of information for you. We already know what a lot of it is, man. But you know, let's let you know what. Let's just get right to it, man. So check it out. This morning we wake up. 2K dropped the update. It's uh, you know, it's this is right here. This is all the information that you need. I don't know. I think they said it's like 26 gigs on the PlayStation, but it is uh, on Xbox. 39.5 gigs on the Xbox. And then the uh, the one for the uh, the one for the Xbox, you know, next gen, only 2.3 gigs. A lot of people wonder why that is, man. It's just because of, it's just difference in technology. With the with Xbox and the old PlayStation, they got spinning discs or whatever. And uh, the, the way that the way that it would work, it would be like like the disc spins and it has the access information. So to, to minimize seat time, it will put instead of putting it on one part of this thing and so if i need a if this is the platinum reader and i need an asset it is right here this as far away as it can get before to get here get back to me so i can actually read it because you can only, you can only read it where it is so instead of having that they will put it they'll put that same asset on here up to you know at least four times so it'll be here 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 and here so if if this asset the last time i had access to the asset was here the next time i'll have it it'll be like here so it'll spin and then you know you're never a, you're never more than about a quarter turn away from the asset that you're looking for conversely you got the xbox uh you got the new xbox or what have you and they use solid state drives there's no there's very minimal seat time on there because it's solid state it doesn't have to spin so it just goes right to the location everything's stored by location so it can just grab the asset so they don't need the redundancy on solid state drives uh they just need it on there once so that's why the updates for the older systems are way larger than the ones for the uh for the other ones because they have to and, and you know just just because of that it's different design and different implementation it's probably more modular and stuff like that but that's why that's that's one of the reasons because they don't have to put the assets on there so many times that being said y'all could 2k put the hold on here we go put the doggone notes out bro look at it bro this is what we begin man like we have to have people out here the community has to do everything for for uh for 2k and all that good stuff man it just said like they don't even put the notes out we can't find the notes they're not out there right now we look for the patch notes they're just not there we gotta speculate everything and so it just says you know previously uh you know nba 2k 21 rolling out the patch uh you know apart from including you know what i'm saying it's just like i said there's speculation bug fixes gameplay we don't know fixes a rare issue which made which made shots will not count after defensive goal ten, and yeah, we ain't never seen that. Fixing the proper anim animation uh, transition that allowed players to unrealistically change momentum and direction. Like, bro, in when bracing, when branching from quick stop movements, stuff like that. Man, this is like this is like all old stuff. Like, we gotta just literally, literally sit here and speculate what's going on. So we know that none of this is right. So don't be fooled by these articles and stuff, man, because nobody got the information now. But what I can tell you is the end of the season is coming up. I can tell you that. I know that the end of the season is coming up and what they normally do with the end of these seasons or you know, before the next season start, they go ahead and load this thing up. They probably have it in their test environment. Probably got a few, a couple of people that, that have access to it in the test environment. And then they just test it out and make sure that when it goes live, uh, you know, we would call it the sandbox in in my in my where i work or you know in my field of work we call it the sandbox push the update to everybody well not you you wouldn't push it ideally you wouldn't push it to everybody you would just push it to a few people and then let them play in the sandbox see what type of issues they may have it uh hopefully I mean, normally you would want to have dissimilar what, what we call dissimilar hardware and stuff like that make sure it don't kill nobody's computer or, or do do stuff like when you go into the to the event center it turns your, your xbox off and stuff like that so normally you would want to test it with dissimilar hardware but everybody has similar hardware here except for the xbox s and the x um you know you would normally want to test it like that and then you would push it to the masses once you made sure that it was working properly there but you know it that's just not how 2k does it you know or, or really i guess anybody does it. they just i mean oh hell heck we don't know we don't know how they do it but it just seems like it seems like with this you know they push it 
and then they probably activate it for a few users or what have you for themselves, make sure that everything's looking good because you don't have it to test it on too many pieces of hardware. And then you just go on out there and then you just push it to the masses. Hopefully, we don't have any bug fixes. Like I said, the left, right, the, the branches that they were talking about in that thing, man, that stuff ain't never going to change, man. Left, right ain't going nowhere. It's in the game, and I have a theory on why it is in the game. We're going to go more in depth with this later. But, man, like, it, the, the, the truth of the matter is, bro, everybody at this game is, is, is good, and that's what 2K wants. They want everybody to be good. Like, even though you got, like I, I keep saying that we got about 1,100 players, you know, that are really good at the game, that are the top 1%. You got 11 million that just don't have the time. They don't care that much about the game. They just want to play. They look at that as a video game. They just want to play the game, do their thing, and just hoop. And so I can't even get mad at them for that because that's, 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 that's us in 90 other percent of the game. If I go play something like Forza, if I go play something like Call of Duty, I'm playing super casual. I don't want to have to sit there and sweat just to be decent or what have you. So even though we don't like it on this side, that, like I get what they're trying to do, but the only thing that I hate is that it makes it so that for the uh, a competitive player, these things are too easily exploited. Like they just we're gonna exploit the heck out of it against another good player. So when a bomb is doing this stuff, you know, hitting every white, uh, going left and right, and you know what I'm saying, You're shooting out of sight, bars. You know when they when they doing that, we don't care because we know how to stop a bomb. But when a really good player can't do what he wants to do, and he decides, well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cheat. When they decide to do that, then, man, it's like it's not a whole lot you can do against it. And then they had the audacity to come out there with the screens. with Bro, it ain't, you ain't you ain't stopping this stuff, man. You're going to have to have all-stars pinching out the corners. You're going to have to have everything. So it, it's, it's really one of those things where it just it's, it's, most of the community is having a great time with this game. It's only the, comp the most competitive that are having some issues or that are really don't like it. And, um, you know, I, I feel like that the shareholders are like, well, we got a 2K league for them guys. And I will agree with that. But can we have access to that 2K league stuff to where they be playing? And, and you know what I'm saying? If I could play with they with their sliders and those set of rules, I'll probably stay in Pro-Am or whatever. But like I said, with the with everything, man, that like, look at that. Look at the difference between downloading onto the, you know, when something is made to download onto a SSD Versus when it's downloading onto a spinning hard drive, man. Even though I got an SSD for both of them, but you understand what I'm trying to tell you. It's just way faster. The assets go directly where they're supposed to go faster. Everything goes where it's supposed to go faster. But like I said, you can tell that you can tell that the that the shareholders and all this stuff, this thing is going exactly how they plan it. But you got people out there with with 30 shooting 30% from three with 15 win percentage, and they got mascots and they legend. That, like they, it, it's, it's the inclusion. They don't they don't want people to stand out and stand apart and be like, and you know what I'm saying, like feel like they're bigger than 2K or whatever. You know you know what I'm saying. Like don't want nobody coming up off 2K. They want they want everybody to be the same. They want that uniformity and they want it to be inclusion because that's what makes them the most money. Just think about it. When only one or two people got a mascot, they wasn't making that much money off of it. Now if everybody can get a mascot, but I, I bet they making so much money. So. The, this structure of how they're going to do with, with doing things to bring people back to the community and then, you know, and, and get the maximum amount of money, bro, this this is here to stay. This prize, this prize, this prize is at the end of the thing, you know what I'm talking about, season, this, this here to stay, bro. That ain't going nowhere else. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, man. We're going to see how this goes, man. Like I said, we got the update. The update is here. They trying to tell us this thing about the left, right. I'm just thinking it's just a new season stuff loading in. And uh, we will. They probably didn't make any gameplay changes. We just probably going to see cosmetic changes like we have the last few times, man. Um, I, I couldn't imagine that they would change anything this late in the year. Normally, when we get to this part of the year, the only thing they do is make shooting easier. Like, this, they make it so easy, and then they make the game be free. They make shooting easier. And then once they do that, then it's just like, you know what I'm talking about? It's lights out for the rest of the year. And, uh, you know, they try to get people tuned up for the next one. So what do y'all think they can drop that's gonna tune people up and make them make them want to play the next game or what have you, man? I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but if y'all do, uh, what would bring you back to the game? They had the mascots and the jetpacks. That brought a lot of people back. I think it was really the mascots, but what can you do to top mascots and jetpacks? I understand why they dropped it now, because you want people to be able to play with that mascot and you want to maximize the amount of time that they have to buy them. I got that part, so you got June, and then we got all of July, all of August, then we get the game in September. So you get two, you get two months with your mascot. That's dope. 
but I don't understand. I don't know what else they can bring that's going to make people come back, you know, this time, man. I don't know. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. I'm hot at y'all next time. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.